Hi guys, quick update for Bitcoin here. So I think it's important to understand where we are in the macro count because I've been seeing a lot of counts recently and I just wanted to give my two cents. Frankly, as far as I'm concerned, 2496 should have been hit and Bitcoin is eventually one way or another going down to 2496 and 2K. Now, 20K doesn't seem like a bad time to have sold now, does it? After the call I made well over two years ago, easily the greatest call ever in this market. Now, the reason we need to go into this is because whilst there are people trading this market, there are people who I think are just blindly buying um, here, maybe it goes to 6K, 6.5, we'll get into that in a short while, hoping that we're going to go to 100,000 tomorrow or even next year or even the year after that. I don't think that's going to happen. My primary count is this is a W, that's an X, and we're going to go down in a Y. One way or another, this target has to get hit as far as I'm concerned. I do not think this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't think this is going to happen. That's my least... Uh, you know that that's like my my third or like my sixth or seventh possible count. Um, in fact, more likely than that is the triangle count. But as we know, major wave twos cannot be triangles, and Bitcoin doesn't make symmetrical triangles. It makes ascending and descending triangles. Now, the move, <clears throat> the move from three point one to fourteen k. The obvious way to count this is yes, one, two, three, four, five. Right, fine. We're making a wave two. We're going to go higher. However, whilst I respect people who are counting it that way, I don't think it is that. The other way I've seen it is an ABC, which once again would imply it is corrective as part of a larger ABC or a WXY down or a larger triangle. Or the way that I'm counting it is just it's a WXY, and this is just an ABC. There was an A into this flat, followed by a B, followed by a C. That's the way I'm counting it as a WXY. Either way, however you count this, as far as I'm concerned, it's more likely this move is corrective, which is really saying something because it's gone up 290%. You would think logically that surely we, we must be in a new bull market if it's gone up 300,000%. But unfortunately, you're dealing with Bitcoin, which has moved through 36 million percent since the genesis back in, um, you know, 2009 or 2010, whenever it was. Well, it, well, it was here. And that's my primary count. There's no other way to count this from here to here other than one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I've seen counts there. The five is up here and the three is up here and. You know, that's the three, that's the four, whatever. But I don't think that's the case. And there's this halving in May. I don't think that affects the price. And if anything, that's just going to force it lower, frankly. There's this ascending line going from, you know, July 15 all the way up to here. That's going to get broken eventually. And one way or another, this target's going to get hit. Either we come down in five or more than likely, it's going to be like silver did back in 2013 and just end up just slowly, you know, doing this. So that's the way I see where this market is going to go. But someone needs to show me a count, which is not a one, two, three, four, five. Someone needs to show me something different then, because if this is a way for triangle, fine, um, then that's a three, fine. But then that still means we're going to go sideways and you're not going to see 20K for a while. Uh, but I don't even think it's a triangle because I'm, I think it's this. So I think we're still in a bear market only because, you know, we've gone up 36 million percent. So it needs to, uh, you know, the price has to go lower, basically. So that's my primary count. And it all comes down to um, to how you count this. Everything is coming down to how do you count this? If you're counting this move as corrective, by definition, we are not in a new bull market, basically. We are in a sideways triangle or... Uh, we are coming back down again. We are, we, you know, we are coming back down in a WXY. So I would just be, you know, mindful that there are various counts here. And if there's doubt, then you really shouldn't be, you know, you know, going all in here. I think you just need to wait for some confirmation one way or the other. Now, short term, it may very well have bottomed here, or this may be just a uh, WXY and it may roll over but there's enough strength in the altcoins to suggest that 
there is definitely some bounce that's been going on the last couple of weeks. Now, short term, if we are still saying we are in a bear market and we're bearish, 9.5 will be res resistance this high here, 10.9 as well as 11.5. So at some point, if we are saying this is not a new impulse, we are going to start rolling back over again here. Yeah, there's your 61.8. So something like that is going to play out. Like I said, this is a long-term count that we we eventually go lower towards 2496. This is not, you know, short-term. This might take another six months to actually play out. But I can see a situation where my possibly the next, I don't know, couple of months, maybe until the end of the year, we do get, I don't know, a six to eight week move up. But ultimately, that will just be... Um, a move that doesn't really go anywhere maybe we end up touching this descending trend line because we now have a trend line the minute you have two valid points you can always draw a line so maybe we end up hitting this line in december and then rolling back over again but ultimately by the time we get to this halving i expect us to be a lot lower than where we are where we are at uh, right now and if you look at the panic cheat sheet um this could have just been the first move and this could be that um, return to normal and after the return to normal if you go and google what the cheat says uh, what the cheat sheet says you get all that fear panic capitulation anger whatever so i think all of that is yet to come obviously we had a very you know sh short term psychology uh, you know uh, bearish psychology here but that was just a small move in an otherwise much much larger move that's actually going on here so that's my take is that we are eventually going to roll over here so if you're just blindly buying um, that isn't necessarily the best thing to be doing right now every market is a two day to six week market and i'm including the stock market as well in that anyway that's my take let's see what happens but um ultimately this target is going to get hit